Hey there, it's Brittany and I'm back with a tutorial. Um, ever since last week when the really scary incident happened, I haven't really been able to make jewelry. I've been fine going in my bead room, um, but I've only made one thing since then and that was Sam's bead box um, bracelet. And I did my live for Jesse James beads, but I had already designed those things. I'm just having like a huge creative block since it happened and I, I want to stop that so I thought I was just going through the drawers and I, I have tons of like inspiration packs put together but I don't want to work on any of those of course but I was going through the drawers and I got this in a haul I got this in a haul last year and or maybe earlier this year I can't remember and it's real jade it's very high quality um, I got a bunch of them from the same person in that haul um, not a bunch of like this shape I have two of this shape but a bunch of different jade pendants but I I've got this one and I'm really excited about it I it's a really hard color to match though so I went through my stash and nothing matches it. it's very very pale it's like limeade but like super watered down that's the only thing I could think of so I got out some like clear beads that I thought might work these are some crow beads um, they're I think they're Indonesian or African I can't remember but the thing that finally popped out um, to me were these silver lava beads and they these were these were not $13, but I either got, I think I got them in Tucson maybe, but, um, or some bead show, but I just loved the look of this like old silver look next to this beautiful jade. Um, uh, I don't know if I'll use those beads, but I got out some other beads that might work. Um, I got out some focals to kind of go on top of this one so that one's kind of cool it's got some bone in it this one is just a really old artisan bead love these so much um, and then this one so I I'm probably leaning towards this one but I like the bone too and I might check to see if I have some batik beads that match this um, then I got out some seed beads. These I just got um, some silver beads. These are from these are like silvery bronzy. These are from Lisa Mama, Mama Bruce. Thought those would be nice. And then I got these. Oh my gosh, I can't remember where I got these, um, but they're everywhere. I thought those would be nice in here. Um, I'm really loving like the clear um, table cut look right now. These came from Anne Marie recently. I haven't even posted the the, uh, the friend mail from her. I really like these. I think these are going to make their way in there. Um, these are also from Anne Marie. They're clear with gold. Not sure if those will make it in. And um, oh, I like these frosted African glass beads because they're not the same color, but they're very. I mean, they're they're clear. They're they're like frosted white, but they're very like in the same family as that pendant. And then I need to like organize more of my regular drawers because I went through clear today. Just that's not my um, not my specialty beads. And there were tons and tons of check beads in there. So I got to go through all of the like I do a drawer like a month or something it seems but I gotta go through more of them I don't know about this I think that's a little I don't know we'll see like I said I'm having a real tough time with the creativity like I can think of things but I just can't do so I think I'm just going to start here I might look for another a, a batik bone bead that matches this and then we'll get started all right so I went and looked through my beads and I actually had quite a bit that matched um these are larger. I don't think I'm going to go with those, but they're fun. Um, these match like really well. I'm loving that. So maybe we'll incorporate just a couple. I don't want that to, to pull away from the other beads. I don't want this to become the focal, but I, I think it'll act, uh, accent it really well or I have smaller ones that are around the same color that might work even better and then I had these but what I could do probably is just make the necklace and then make a matching bracelet I just save a couple of these save a couple of these and make a matching bracelet so let's get started I'm trying to think if I want 
both of these on top and I'm heading towards I don't know if I'm gonna knot this necklace I don't know I, I'm thinking cord though like not not beading wire let's see I like this brown because of the brown in the focal but I'm knotting I probably didn't use enough but we'll see how it goes this through here I swear Colty only coughs when I'm doing videos because she wants attention. I swear that's the only time she coughs. All right, so that's pulled through there. Kinda wanna put it at the top. And then I will feed through, I'm just gonna, I don't know. I don't know what I wanna do, so we'll see. I'm gonna need a needle for that puppy. Ooh. See, these are old beads and they're hollow. So let me see if I can find a needle. One from Beetle on. Get that out of there. I think this is from Beads to Blooms, or Beads and Blooms. The classes from Jesse James Speeds earlier this year. This doesn't work. I might have to ream this bead or drill it because I really want to, I think I really want to use this one. Um, it's just that the holes are a little small, but let me try and look and see what this looks like. I like it. I think I would put even just this bead on top of that one too. I think I'm gonna try and ream this or drill it. I'll be back. All right, my drill bits are downstairs. <laughs> I don't feel like going to get them. So I got, um, this is a bead reamer. It's just a, um, a manual one. And I'm just gonna try and see if I can make these holes a little bigger by s just reaming the bead. Oh, I forgot I have a electric bead reamer. I don't know if it's gonna make a difference. It might get stuck in here more than the other one would. Yeah, see, like it tends to get stuck quite a bit if it's uh, uh, not like a, an easier bead type, like polymer clay, this is gonna get, not gonna get stuck in, but metal, not the easiest thing to ream. I've already made that hole much larger than it was, so I'm gonna keep going. Okay, I'm gonna try and put this bead through, and if it doesn't work, I'll move on, but I really thought that would look pretty cool. No, oh, yay, it worked. I actually really like that. It's kind of interesting having two focals right on top of another focal, but hey, go big or go home, right? <laughs> All right, so now I'm gonna put a knot here. Uh, take my needle off. Put the 
needle back up there. And then I'm just gonna put a knot here to hold everything in place. Sorry, my hands are kind of dirty. And, and grab my knotting pliers. These are from Beagle On. And slide that knot all the way down right there. There we go. So now I have a really beautiful pendant, one of a kind. Oh, I'm so excited about this necklace now. <laughs> um, I don't think, I think I'm gonna do like knotting throughout, but I don't think I'm gonna knot like every bead. I just don't want that much articulation, if that makes sense. I think I am gonna use some of these. These are from Bead World in Scottsdale, but they are just beadworld.com, I think. They're black diamond, six O T Toho's. And I'm definitely gonna use some of these. Open this. Yes, I know these are fabric stick scissors. Don't yell at me. I've come to the come to the conclusion that I need to buy new fabric scissors because I'm I'm the person who used them on everything but fabric. <laughs> and I used to used to never do that, but now I stopped caring. Okay. So, um I I I don't know if I'm going to use these, but why not open them? Why not? Just in case. Maybe I'll use two, maybe not. Get these guys open. I'm gonna kind of lay out my design before just stringing. I don't want to have to take off a bunch of beads a bunch of different times. I think I'll start with two seed beads right here. And I really want to focus on these old silver looking lava beads. Now my decision is, do I want to put seed beads between each bead or different groups of beads? So I'm gonna kind of test that out by stringing that. But at least now I have like a little bit of a pattern to go by. All right, I'm gonna put that guy right there. Now this is where I want to check to see if I want each bead to be separated by a seed bead, if I just want to do them periodically. I have no idea. And these seed beads might go inside. Nope, they're small. They're but they're large enough. Let's see. Oh yet. Oh boy, we might not make it through. Oh yay, it worked. Okay, so let's see how this looks. I do not like that. <laughs> I don't like how every bead, 
every other bead is a seed bead. So let's regroup and redo it. Okay, three is fine. Something's wrong. I don't like this. <laughs> I'm loving the silver. I'm not loving this right here. I think it's, I'm trying too hard with the, getting too many different styles of beads in. And I don't think that one worked right there. I think one of these will work. Yeah, that looks a lot better. I like that. Okay. Let's go three more of these. Sometimes these um, uh, washes that they put on check class beads can get in the holes and you just gotta poke it. If you don't have a bead reamer, a um, piece of wire or toothpick maybe might help, but you might wanna, these aren't very expensive, just the, the, um, the manual ones can't be that expensive. I think I got them in some little kit at Michael's one year. All right. Uh, get that third one in there. I have to get some wax out in a moment or some super glue. Oh, there we go. This 
This one doesn't want to go through. looks really good all right I'm going to string on the other side and then I'll figure out what I'm doing up the back of the neck okay so I added on I actually ended up putting a knot here just to hide inside some of these beads in case the string ever breaks hopefully I don't lose all my beads and um, it was funny because I was trying it on for length and I immediately dropped the side that I put a knot in so I only lost six beads instead of the whole length and I was just so thankful <laughs> So I've been looking um, through literally all of my beads trying to figure out what I want to put on the back of this because I don't want to use up any more of these lavas. I didn't really like just the um, seed beads. I did find these in my stash and they're a dead match for this just a little bit darker and if they were back in the back wouldn't, you wouldn't be able to tell. I also found these which are vintage by now because I bought them when I was or I mean Maybe they're not vintage yet, but they're very close. Um, they're very close to being the same color, but I think they're too big for the back, which is frustrating because I wish I would have found them sooner and put them in closer down, but it's okay. It's okay. We can work with it. Um, I did find some other check glass beads in the wrong drawers, so like a whole bunch of gray. So these match, but I think it's just going to make it too dark in the back. <sighs> so many choices and then I remembered I had these they're like hanging right in front of me and I think yes they're shinier than the lava but not by much they're the right silver tone so I think we'll just do the snake beads up the back um yeah I think gosh I just don't know I think we'll do a bunch of snake beads and then finish it off with some seed beads so see how that looks and um I can always change it although the snake beads are pretty heavy Okay, so put that there. And it's 8.42 at night and I just got a notification that something was just delivered to my mailbox, which is just crazy to me. Like, why is it so, <laughs> why is it so late? Um, all right, let's see. Open this up and just pile on the snake beads, I guess. Yeah, this might be might be kind of heavy for this I don't know I should have there are a lot of different things I would do about this but I would definitely do two strands of the cord unfortunately the two strands of the cord wouldn't have fit through the check glass beads and I did chip one by trying to um, bead ream it so I'm gonna cover it with some clear glue like some e6000 and um, hopefully that'll protect my skin from any cuts. 
because I'm I only had six of those beads <laughs> I needed all six for this design let's see how this is looking I'm worried about these snake beads because they're very heavy I mean they look great it's just not gonna work because they're too heavy all right well that's that I just don't want it to be too much pressure on the string um, and I don't really want to have that much pressure on my neck to be very honest so maybe I'll use those in a matching bracelet or something all right so are we gonna use these are we gonna use these I think I'm gonna go I like those because they kind of the modeled look looks kind of like the lava yeah I think I'm gonna go with these Okay, so I made this necklace super long um, because I just, I love, I love how this hangs. Um, and then I found this clasp in my stash, perfect. I think it just came in from Nina, but I could be wrong about where I got it from. <laughs> um, and I am just going to tie it on, make sure I have the right side. So this side is pretty easy all you do is come through the hole in the bottom of the clasp pull it through and then make a knot and I'm just gonna do several knots here and probably glue it too and actually I'm gonna off screen hang this so I can get the beads down as far as they can go and then knot it while it's hanging all right I'll show you this side um, I'm just gonna try and get all of the beads down as far as they'll go I put a collot on this side or a um, clamshell do a knot and we'll come through the knot hold on to the thread next to the clamshell and pull And then I'm just going to get some GS Hypo Cement and Dot, both knots. Um, this thing's a hot mess. Dot there. And then um, the other one is right here. I'll let those dry. snip in here. I don't know where my tinier scissors are. I'm using these huge scissors to <laughs> snip these tiny threads. All right, and I'll close this up. I am going to make bracelets for this, but I'm going to do it in a separate video because there was a lot going on and it'll be easier on me to edit. <laughs> so stay tuned for the bracelets. Um, of course, for this video, I will post uh, attached pictures at the end of what this looks like together. And then um, I'm going to get a jump ring. Attach my toggle.
Okay, there we go. That's what that clasp is so pretty. I just love this necklace. It makes me so happy. I can't wait to wear it. And it, it's neutral. It's neutral enough for me to wear this with so many different things. Um, I tend to use a lot of color and uh, that's not a bad thing, but I wanted something that this, I feel like this is every season, right? Like I can wear this in the spring, summer, winter, fall. So I'm super excited about it. Can't wait to wear it. Um, I am going to go ahead and make some bracelets, but those will be in a separate video. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share, and let me know what you think about the necklace. Stay tuned for Goldie. She's super duper cute. Bye-bye. cutie happy sunday are you hiding like always behind your pillow you're so tiny yeah you're so tiny